for this new moon meditation. Your choice, upright seated posture or recline and lay down. Or rest your body if it's the end of the day. And you'll bring your body into a shape and a vibration, quality, frame of a reference. As if you are standing at a doorway, preparing to step through into this new opening, new perspective. Not necessarily moving your body into any new location, but almost like you're gaining an extra sense, an extra sight that are able to receive telepathic information, that are able to see what can't be seen and heard, hear what is not being said. And so we'll just settle in a little bit more into the present moment. So releasing any past conditioning or programming of what you're expecting this meditation to be like, what you're expecting of yourself moving forward in the coming days. Also releasing any future tripping. No need to set an intention, no need to reach any goals. Really allowing yourself to unspool, unwind, let go, surrender, and land right here. Where do you feel your breath in the body? So we're using this physical density to feel feedback. Pressing up the lungs, pressing up against the rib cage. Gravity pressing into the earth or the support. Your energy lifting up through the body, moving through the chakras moving through the channel of energy. And you're starting to feel yourself become more present. Not controlling the breath, just following it. And allowing to become a little bit of a backseat driver here. Hmm, shifting towards the observer. Still connected through your heart center, heart chakra, present moment. <clears throat> Allow your breath to start at the center of your physical body and then rippling out through this space that you're sitting in. So whether you're in a room, a structure, if you're outside, just creating a bubble around the scene in front of you, letting your breath ripple from your body outward. As you exhale, dropping back towards the center of your body. We'll do that just a couple more times. Allowing your breath to guide you and breathing in.
If you feel areas in your body of tightness, of hardness, of any blockages, barriers, you can allow your breath to move into those spots, to melt, to soften, to help bring a deeper sense of proprioception, deeper sense of space, of sensation, and healing. It's okay to move a little bit, still staying grounded in your body as you let your energy expand. And really coming back now to a conscious settling. Landing in one area of the body, anywhere will do. Maybe the first spot that comes to mind. And now you'll draw a diagonal line. There's no wrong way to do this. Diagonal line through the body, landing at another point. Oppositional diagonal line. And let your body take up as much space as it needs, as much space as is available. So we're back to that unspooling, that surrender as much as is comfortable. And then we'll hold these two points in the body, those diagonal, oppositional, points of energy. And so at the same time, there's a gentle, soft spreading and expanding at each spot. And while that's happening, there's also a fine tuning, a precision, like a light shining right at the center a little bit more brightness right there at the inside of the spiral. <clears throat> Letting these two spots really become even balanced in movement, vibration, frequency. And illumination. We'll move into a brief period of silence and you can just continue to hold these two spots. If you'd like to use a visualization as if you are stepping outside your body and placing each hand on those points, like you're just cradling your own body in the palms of your hands and with those two illumination points connected to the energy center at the palm of the hand, you can do that. Another invitation to just land back at your heart center or whatever feels good right now, and then I'll call you back.
And coming back together, you can start back with your breath. And if you were using the palms of the hands, you can really just center yourself back towards that center channel of energy, your shishuma. Chakra centers, back in the body. We'll just finish up here with the meditation in also with the intention for integration to feel fully contained within your body, fully contained within your energy system. Feeling full so that there's something to give from. Also feeling full so that there is something to protect. Feeling full so that integration and alignment, integrity, is a feeling in the body, not just an intellectual concept, idea, but really a framework for feeling good, a framework for coming into alignment. So we'll start at the bottoms of the feet, so the soles of your feet. If you imagine that there is an eye at the bottom of each foot, just resting there at the arch. And you imagine that that eye, that sight, deep into the earth, deep into your past, can blink with each eyelid dropping closed and then opening there's a cleansing there's a renewal and now using that tool of visualization so you're imagining this happening in your mind's eye so it's as if you're watching a little movie inside your head inside the backs of your own eyelids These eyes, so line of sight at the bottoms of the feet, you'll take the eyelids and they'll drop down towards your heel. So you're imagining that this blinking is getting larger with each movement, larger with each round, open, close, continuing to let your belly be soft, easy breath. And then now opening and closing those eyes and the lid will wrap back towards your calf. And then again, closing all the way over the backs of your legs, reaching up towards the sacrum. Opening deeper awareness, guidance, inner knowing closing, reaching all the way up around the back of the body, towards the back of your heart, as if your heart is just sitting on a shelf, like a big stack of books in a library, and the lid is just coming all the way back up, kissing the back of the heart. Inhale, filling up your lungs as you open up these beautiful eyes at the bottoms of the feet. And then this time, as you close your lid, it's just sweeping all the way up and over the shoulders, upper traps, kissing almost at the back of the neck. And again, just this effortlessness with the opening. And then closing, allowing the lid eyelid to just wrap around the back of your body all the way up to the crown, the top of your head, as if there was a spout, blowhole, antenna, crown. And then this time, all the way around, back body, back of the skull, and then coming forward towards your third eye center, front of the forehead. 
almost creating like this cape, this hood. And then as you open up, breathing in. Exhaling, allowing those lids to move in harmony with each other all the way up and over, covering the ears, top of the head, third eye, center, all the way forward, over the throat. Opening up, breathing in. Exhale, coming all the way up and around, this time all the way down towards your sternum. So just gently covering the heart, not feeling constrained in any way. Opening, just sliding like a sunrise. And then exhaling, letting those lids just dive up and around the body, coming down towards your belly, your belly button. Feeling safe, protected. Opening. Closing like a sunset. Can't even really pinpoint when the colors change, but slowly those lids are just closing all the way to the front of the hips. Your belly's still soft. And then opening, we'll just take two more breaths, breathing in, this time exhaling and dropping all the way forward, covering your thighs down to the knee joint. Still get to have plenty of length in those upper chakras. Breathing in, opening up. So as the lid closes, there's no constraint, plenty of space, expansion. And last one, we're letting the lid just come all the way up and around, forward, covering the fronts of the shins, ankles, tops of the feet. 360 all the way around. And closing over the toes. And we'll pause there. Fully contained within your energy system. Really allowing that line of sight at the bottoms of the feet to guide you inward within yourself at the same time guiding you through time, guiding you through the earth, guiding you through the galaxies, guiding you through any past life information that serves you. Guiding you through your dream state. Taking anything that serves you back into your state of awakening. And guiding you through relationships so that you can create more love, more understanding, both for yourself and for others. Guiding you through sustainable presence. And as if this lid was made of ash or sand, we'll just let a breeze wash up and just blow it all away as if it was never there. And you'll just come back towards that experience of the density in your body, your bones, your muscles. And you can feel your heart beating.
as your breath carries you moment to moment. Come back to that finite <clears throat> space that your body takes up, the dense physical body. Accepting the limits of your body so that you can really free your mind, free your energy. Anything is possible. Feeling this meditation practice with another conscious full body breath and just really respecting your boundaries, respecting what feels good for you in this moment and all other moments. Let's bring the hands together at the forehead center to close. So you can really let your forehead press into the thumbs there. Thank you.
Just come into a comfortable position, lay down, sit down, whatever makes you feel comfortable at this moment. Before we get into Reiki, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and take a deep breath in all the way to the top and then breathe out all the way. Breathe in again all the way to the top, fill your lungs, feel them filling with air. And then breathe out one more time. And then for the last time, breathe in all the way. And at the top, just hold your breath for 10 seconds. Now just let your breath out like a fire hose, just push it out. And then feel your body relaxing. Feel any tension in your body, just letting loose, letting go. And remember that tonight is, is a new moon. So I'm not asking you to purposely set an intention, just think about what intention means to you. Think about what you could set for an intention. Think about how what you just let go of in your breath sets up for an intention moving forward. And we're not talking about a big intention. We're not talking about something major. Maybe it's just something small like, you know, taking an extra deep breath or moving a certain way or getting in some extra, extra movement. Now, as you're relaxing, and as your eyes are closed, I want you to just focus on your mind, focus on what you might be worried about, any tension in your body, anything that might not feel too good, and just ask yourself to let it go. It's okay to not hold on to it. It's okay to let go of any tension that you might be holding on to for an extra long time. And tonight is, is the night to let it go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start, start uh, sending Reiki energy to you. And I just ask that you be open. Whatever it needs to happen, wherever you need to feel it, just be open to wherever this energy lands. And don't hold on to the energy either. Just whenever you feel it, let it go to wh wherever it needs to be, and then let it exit out your body. So complete a circuit. And that's what you should be doing. Just as you feel this energy coming into your body, let it go in one side, say, go in your right leg. Let it go up your hip into your side, through your heart. Let it fill your heart with the most amazing feeling, warm, beautiful healing energy. And let it radiate from your heart up towards your right shoulder, down to your elbow, down to your forearm, through your fingers. Feel all that energy, just taking anything that doesn't feel right, that doesn't feel good, that doesn't feel like the intent that you want for tonight and going forward. Now, if you go back to your heart, letting it go down up to your left shoulder, to your left elbow, to your left fingers, feeling the energy as it goes through the upper half of your body. Let it go up towards your neck, through your head, latching on to anything, any thoughts that you might not want. And then going back down into your heart and going down your left side, through your left hip, your knee, 
your shin, your toes. Now, if you were to disconnect from your body and look at yourself laying down, what you'd see is your body with five points of light, your head, your right arm, your right hand, your left hand, your right foot, and your left foot. Those points of light are both serving you and taking any negative or malintent away from you. Just continue to feel it. Continue to let it search out for what you may need to let go of. And while you're there, just start setting, setting a small intention. We're in that perfect time of night. Ask yourself, what, what was my intention that I didn't get to? What might be, I be scared of in terms of an intention? Think about this for just a few moments. While you do that, just continue to breathe in and out. With every breath out, just let go of any tension, any unhappiness, any Ill, Ill ease that you might be feeling, let it go. Every breath in, just feel all that Reiki, all that healing energy in with the healing, out with malintent, replacing all the energy little by little with each breath, each little breath. And while you're breathing, I want you in your mind's eye, about maybe four feet in front of you to create a bonfire. Feel its warmth. Feel the cr hear the crackling. Continue feeling the warmth of this bonfire. Now we had said earlier, creating an intention. And what I want you to do is, the first thing I want you to do is take what doesn't feel right. Take maybe what's been stopping your intention lately. Something that you do wanna get rid of. I want you to write it down on a piece of paper in your mind. When it's written down, take a look at it, study it, understand why you want to get rid of it. Understand why this stopped your intention or any intention. Feel it. Now go ahead and fold it up. Feel the energy as it disconnects from you. Go ahead and just put that paper in the fire and watch it burn. This no longer serves you. It is no longer part of you. Watch it as the ashes just float up into the sky, no longer associated with you. And as you breathe in and out, feel that lighter feeling. Feel all this energy releasing from you. Feel that your intention is getting stronger. Feel that whatever has been stopping you is no longer there. And continue to feel the warmth of the fire and understand it is your livelihood. It is your fire. It is your intention. And what I want you to do is take out another piece of paper in your mind's eye and write down a small intention. We're not talking about something big. We're talking about just a small intention to get you through the next day. For example, maybe I'm gonna wake up earlier or I'm gonna move more or I'm gonna be happier or I'm gonna learn something new. You don't have to change your life just yet. Go ahead and write down a small intention.
After you've written, if you've written it down, go ahead and study it. Feel the energy, the positive energy radiating from it. Feel how it affects you positively. Feel how it fuels you. Feel, feel how all the energy that is currently coursing through you affects you in such a positive way and infuses this intention. Now go ahead and fold over the paper and go ahead and put it in the fire and watch as your intention burns, but positively this time. The fire may turn purple, it may turn red, may actually turn yellow as well. But as it burns, as it turns color, watch as the energy from the fire comes back on you and fills you with the most radiating beauty ever. Bringing your intention to life and you, had, you didn't have to do anything. You just had to be there. Now continue to breathe and fill, fill yourself with warm, beautiful white light. Feel the intention, feel the energy. Feel how your life is about to change. And for the next few minutes, just bask in this glow. Feel the circuit of energy traveling through you, replacing anything that doesn't feel right. Breathing in and breathing out, breathing in positive beauty and breathing out anything that doesn't serve you for now. And remember that this is only for now. That you can always come back to this moment. You can always come back to this very moment and understand what you got, what you're letting go, what you're asking for, how you're feeling. You can bottle this up. You can return to it. You can ask yourself, what, what am I meant to do? What is my intention? How do I want to feel? And after a while, asking enough, you feel yourself start to expand towards the intention. It's part of you. It's around you. It is you. You are becoming exactly what you wanted. All you had to do was let go of what isn't part of you. For the next few minutes, just continue to bask in the glow, the energy, continue to breathe. Can you continue to feel the connection to both the earth and heaven? If you feel anything, just allow it inside. Allow it to pass through. If you're letting go of anything, allow that to pass through as well. Remember this moment.
as we come to a close, go ahead and take a deep breath. Go ahead and let it out. Go ahead and come back to your body. When you're ready, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. You can stretch if you want. Feel your body, feel how it feels a little bit different. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes.